that's what the purpose of my old school jam. When I do my old school jams in East Harlem, um, we play all of these records, all these original records. So it kind of took like maybe a year or two for the kids to like Catch finally on. cross the street and come in the park because <laughs> they recognize and right. oh, they think Diddy did everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. When they hear the samples and stuff like that, they're like, oh, so it become a little cooler for them to be in the park with the old heads, quote unquote. Can I, you know what I'm saying? Can so I comment on that? With I'm like, the yo, old look, heads. You've been there. <laughs> yo, crazy, crazy. The shows be off the chain. But look, man, I, I, I got to confess. When I was trying to find Randall's Island, oh, <laughs> and tell how many times I had to hit your phone, I'm like, yo, yo where's that? You sure you out there, man? Yeah, it's crazy. The last, the last jam we did was last year was in Randall's Island. I did it with my man now from the Florida side, and it was a car show too. So it was a car show in Ocean Jam. It was retarded out there. So Randall's Island is a little weird to find. Like if you make a left turn, you, you're done. Yeah, no, <laughs> so no lie. I, I stopped looking at you're my done. Houses. It was just too much. I'm like, just take a cab. And then you gotta pay that toll again. You gotta, you gotta go around. It's, they don't. They don't give you no yeah. leeway. So the old school jams and, and just like doing the remixes and keeping them consistent. You know, in any, anything in life, you just gotta be consistent. Be consistent. It's like they don't care. This, this business is is this not it's not a personal like. All right, fine. You gotta hit record. No problem. Where's the next nah, one? Like, they don't. Mad, but that's having fans. Right. That's having fans. So you only as good as your last one. So that's I gotta really keep keep uh, uh, keep what I do like really, really like. If I do a remix and it's like I don't just wake up and put it out like yo, I'm Ted. I, nah, like, I, I go through a process. Like I got people that I throw it to first. They gotta give me the all right, cool. Then I take that. Then I put it in my car. I, I've you been. Let everybody, right. I, I throw my windows down. I drive through all. Drive through every I stop at a light and I just stay there, playing it really loud. Yeah, and when the people are walking, if, if people walk in front of my car and they don't react at all, they don't bop their head. It's in the garbage. Right, right, I've right. thrown stuff away that people. You know, I know like, a lot of artists that do that. When so songs, yeah, because the regular people are the people that make you hot. Right, right. The regular people, those ones right. people that buy your stuff. That support you like hard body. So, but yeah, would so you agree? Saying. Would you agree that today everybody is an artist? Like, are there regular people left? Like, are there fans left? Because everybody I know is like, oh, I'm working on music. I'm like, where the you hell know, are the fans? That's yeah. That that's it's like L.A. now. Yeah, <laughs> right. Everybody's right. everybody everybody an actor. Acting. Nah, so I mean, with that, it, it just crazy because that's a good question. Um, it's it's technology. Technology has it's a lot to do with 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 um. The wave and they're getting kind of cluttered because you know you got the, the real people that do it and then you got just the, the, the whack people that wake up and go wait a minute I got I, got I can buy that MP yeah. I can do that uh -huh. and then they play with it and jam up they jam everything up because they play with it they're not really doing it for real so right. that's the gift and the curse right. of Serato that's the gift and the curse of you know the studios all being like nobody everybody got their own studio of course you feel me so but look you just gotta not all this advances is, is most so you know what I'm saying like we've been doing the pro tools for years so we already know what we got to do you know what I'm saying yeah yeah I mean, G, I, got so a it's easy. I mean I'm so old school I still remember the SB 1200 and we had to go get the real the reels and take them back home to the studio <laughs> you know what I'm saying but yo Ted I just gotta say you know you're the remix king I just gotta say man that that was crazy <laughs> what was on your mind when you made that yo the, the, the funny story of this I gotta come back because it's like these stories <laughs> like, I, I can't tell them I don't like telling the clip notes yeah. like so okay so blame it what happened was there was something else that that um okay I did the um no one remix for Alicia Keys right? right and um boom you know I sent it to them shout out to my man Russ so Russ sent it back he like yo you know, played it for Alicia, she loved it, she just wanted to play the piano herself. I didn't have an instrumental, I just grabbed whatever I had, so I was like, yo, dope, whatever, send it to her. She sent it back, played the piano, this, this, and that. And um, so they took it, you know, they're like, yo, okay, we worked out the money and all that. And um, they just took it and ran with it. So I'm sitting here like, all right, so where's, you know, send the check. Like, nothing. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. You worked no out check. the money, so send yeah. that. Yo, straight up. And I... I don't even want to shout to that. I, I, I'm, nah, I'm yeah, over we, it. We but that. it was like, they never gave me my check. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So I had so many people in the building, friends in the building that I couldn't just tear this dude off his down and just yeah. do what you know right. what I really wanted to do. So I'm like, so I just I just took it. I just ate that one. Pause, right? So, um, so I'm like, yo, the yes, next please. record. <laughs> I, said, I said the next record that they got, the next record that they got that's that's even warm. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna kill it. Like I'm right. just gonna stuff. Cause you know they, they put a lot of money into these records to put them on radio. So, yeah. so I'm, I said I'm just gonna 
kill it. No doubt. So I just waited and waited and waited. And sure enough, Blamin came out. And it was kind of high in the club. But I said, I'm just going to mash this. So boom. So that's so then we go. And I did it in my house. I did it in my crib. The initial idea. Shout out to my man Chuck, my engineer. Um, he gave me the, the, the Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras break without the bells. Right. Which is very okay, rare. Man, so, so I just, so I just, I had it going with that. Boom, boom, whatever. And then um, I had to leave the crib. Pack, my, pack it up. Mm -hmm. I go to my crib. I'm coming down 2nd Avenue. And the, the, the Master P yeah. is in my head. So yeah, I pull over. Left. Pull over uh -huh. on 2nd Ave. On 117, between 117 and 118 on the left side. Pull over. It's raining. Grab my laptop. Did it right there in the car. Dun, 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 dun. Like wow. in traffic. Like yeah, yeah. so I, I finished it in the car. And when, like when I first when I first put it, because then my you know in your head, <coughs> it be sounding crazy, and then when you actually do it, be like, yeah, yeah it sounds yeah, whack. Yeah, 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 so yeah. so when I did it, I just heard like two, like four bars of it. I was like, oh man. I packed it up and I just kept moving. So crazy. that's where it happened. And then the final piece was the blame it on the blame it on it. Like it, it didn't have nothing there. So I was just like, yo, let's just put something there like this. And I was like, I said it with my mouth. I was like, just do blame it all the blur. Bring it. When we did that and we played it back, I was like, yo, this is out of here. Like, that's true. And it's nah, like, that, that's a, that's yeah. right. That's you know what I'm saying? So that, your blood that was like a production. Like, <laughs> exactly. Then he used it in the Grammys. Like, it, it's. And that record gave me so hyped in the club. It's a true story. I be throwing champagne bottles when I hear that record. So when that record come on, just get out of my way. Yeah, it's crazy. And Jamie, <laughs> Thank you. Jamie was on the radio and he like, and he finally, he finally oh, like, 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 like co-signed it because I, I hadn't heard if he ever even heard. I knew he heard it, but I didn't know what the, what his opinion was on it. And then he was on the radio station in New York, and he was they would ask him, they had love yeah, yeah. like, yo, what's the, like, what's the best remix? And he was just like, dun, 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 dun. they had a whole thing about it. So, but I'm gonna tell you this, we know blame it, blah blah blah, whatever, what it do. I just gave CMS. CMS is gonna get hounded. Hold on, wait. Yeah. 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 Stop, 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 stop. CMS is gonna get. CMS is gonna get hounded. Listen, us, 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 if y'all tune, tune in, if y'all just tuning in, it's guestradio.com. We got Tess move. moving the building. He getting in the loop with us, baby. <laughs> if you listening, this is how. Listen, this is the DJ you need to listen to. This man has been around. I don't know how old I was. I'm not gonna say my age. That's why I ain't asked him the exact year. Is that 80? about to blow myself up with you? What, hey, what year, what? No, I was born? No, you got one. Oh, 85, 80. See? My that's first 316. It was oh, 85, well, my official. I got Sam? a hundred fifty dollars. Don't do the math. I'm on. <laughs> don't, yeah, please nah, don't. That's the start of the price. I'm crazy. No, 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 Right, the belt drop. Well, I, I, the one on ones. I mean, I obviously I, I, I ran through all the certain. My brother had all those, all that equipment, right. the Gemini mix or whatever. So, right. but shout out to my sister Rosa. Shout out to just all my family. But shout out to my sister Rosa. Um, my older sister. She bought me my first pair of twelve hundreds for Christmas. For Christmas, first right. pair of twelve hundred. Right on hundred fifty something in Third Avenue in the Bronx. I never forget it. The first time she used a credit card, she bought me two crispy pair. 1200s and the needles. Wow. I got still got the receipt. They came out to like 749. What's these? Like you, you had the diamond, the, pickery, the white, the, pickery. the gray that's only, that's only needles yeah. that were available. That, that you could really so, cut with. So, yeah, so so that was, I forget what mix I had, but I remember that day like it was just, I was like, wow, like right. 1200s, like that was amazing. So let me get back to why he's gonna get helped. Okay. So I just gave CMS my Love on Top remix. Okay. Right? So y'all know Love on Top is like a huge that's my record. Yes. Right? So what happened with Love on Top is, in, in my in my circle, some of the parties I do, like the Spanish urban community, mm -hmm. the, the record ain't that's it's like what, the, what are you playing? Like it's, it doesn't resonate at all, okay. right? So shout out man DJ Mel Star, master. I gotta get Mel Star to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mel Star. Shout out to Mel Star. Hold on, y'all was in y'all was in Rocky. Hold up, hold up. Look, y'all was up in Rock and Soul, man. Shout out to Terry. You always do your thing at Rock and Soul. Be crazy. All the vinyl, the different shapes oh, the of vinyl, and the forty, the forty fives. Like I'm not even asking you get them from. That's my thing. The Yo, records. But when yeah. your man, when your man got up on them turntables and murdered it, man, like he, he he's a problem. Man. That was no that was a problem, problem. Man, Mr. Like, no that dude, is, that dude is, is crazy. So he's the reason yeah. why I even remixed this record because I wasn't even on it. Like it, it was off my radar. Time. It came out. I'm like, blah, blah. I don't even hear the vibe. I don't. It was like dead to me. So a couple of dudes really, came. It don't kind of remind you of, a, of Mike Jack a little bit, like something yeah, about it. Yeah, you gotta understand, it's like it's off the radar. Yeah, like right. I'm, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't hear no other DJs playing it. Like 
right. my, on, on my side. So what happened was Mel went on, um, got on Master of the Mix, he got on the show. Right. So then um, he was just running around doing it, all that stuff. So I'm like, you know what, whatever parties I get, you know, black party, every party, right. come through, get on, get, get your shine on. So yeah. when he'll get to the party, that's the first record he'll play, the acapella. Honey, honey. And then everybody just want to dance. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? So I peeked it a couple of times, and I'm like, yo, I got to do something with this record because it's huge. So he was like, yo, because he sent me the acapella. He was like, yo, I'm like, eh, I'm off it. So I, it's crazy because what I did with it, I'm surprised no one else did it because the part, the records that I used, they're like crazy hit records too. So I'm like, why nobody did this? So before Remix with the 